Hello, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Desert at Tarot, and I'm back for another tarot reading, okay? So, if you like my channel, you like what I'm doing, hit the like button, um, comment, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and if you would like a book, a private reading, all you have to do is contact me at jellome123 at gmail.com. Everything is in the description box. So, let's get into it. So, I wanted to do a quick reading on, um... Megan Thee Stallion and Party, Party Saint Fontaine, right? So it was rumors that you know after the graduation stuff went quiet, um, he didn't take out take down any of her uh, pictures of her from his page, but she took down pictures of him from her page, and they thought that they had broken up. You know, the media thought that, and then not only that, the story started to run saying that um, it was a fight, and basically. Um, Megan Thee Stallion is a mean drunk and stuff like that. And then Partisan 14 Party decided to come out and say, well, that's all cap. Nobody's putting no hands on nobody, not in that way. And da 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 So I want to see. And he was like, we've been letting y'all, you know, run with it for a minute. So I just want to see what's going on with them because I personally like them as a couple. I like two tall people together. I don't like tall and short, short and tall. I like two tall people together, right? Because Meg is like this Amazon girl, and then, like, Party is, like, this tall, masculine man. So I felt like they worked together, and then they looked so fun together. And then not only that, he was there for her doing graduation. I was like, that is so cute. And then, I'm not going to lie to you, at one point I was upset at Megan the Stallion because... But I let her live and I let her go. And I said, well, you know what? At the end of the day, you know, if it ain't me, it ain't me. <laughs> but anyway, I got married anyway. So it couldn't have been my man anyway, all right? So let's get into it. What is the energy surrounding Megan Thee Stallion and parties' relationship? You know, I want them to get married so bad. I want them to get married. I want them to have babies and stuff. I want to see what their babies look like. They're going to be tall babies. That's a tall family. <laughs> like, for real, you ever seen a family of just everybody's just tall? Like, the whole house is tall. The kids is tall. The parents is tall. Everybody's tall. And you come in and you just feel like a little person. <laughs> but anyway. What's the energy of their relationship right now? Ooh. The high priestess wanted to come out. That is just telling me they're hush hush, right? One, two, three. Got the two swords in the reverse. This is making a decision, making a clear decision, keeping with it. And the king of wands reverse. So making. Oh. I wonder if. The king of wands in the reverse. I wonder what sign party is. The Fool in the Reverse. And the Eight of Swords in the Reverse. So it's making... Okay, so I feel like... Somebody, if not Megan Thee Stallion, has came to a d decision about this guy. About Party. So Party probably hasn't been the best of persons recently, right? Maybe he's been a little bit confused about where he want to go in his career or whatever the case may be or he wants to be a certain way but maybe some things can happen and now she he's being looked at as not like this person that's well put together because the king of wands up right you see this person he's very oriented he knows what he wants and he looks put together i don't, I don't like this glare i'm gonna start doing this off my phone but he looks well put together he looks well versed he looks well traveled um he's that renaissance man but in the reverse he's he's not really like that you see what i'm saying so maybe this whole thing that party has been doing you know being that stand-up guy maybe he has flaws because the um full card in the reverse um this is say you might want a second you might want to think that of maybe you want to talk to other people about before you take risks okay so, and then the Eight of Swords in the reverse talking about, okay, you see everything clearly. So, I'm just going to think that people now is past the honeymoon phase. I'm going to just tell you that. 
It's past the honeymoon phase. In the back of it is the nine of swords in reverse. Somebody was overthinking, overstressed. So maybe it's party. So what has party been doing? Hmm. Let's see. That has party written all over it because that's not Megan Thee Stallion's party. So what's going on with party? When it comes to this relationship, what has occurred with party? Because the king of wands in reverse could be a cheater, could be a liar, could be an abusive person, all those things. So, have a problem with women or have some like traumas over women, but who knows? Let's see. What's going on with party? Partisan Farsine within this relationship. But we're just going to keep it within the relationship, right? So, what's going on with Partisan Farsine? Well, so. Oh, this is quick changes. Things just coming together, changing. Not really having to force anything to change because they're changing. It's a lot of changes. A lot of travel. A lot of communication. Um, two of Pentacles in the reverse. Not being balanced. Or oh, fluctuating wealth. So maybe it's some of his money. And the strength card. Or the relationship is not balanced. I'm not asking about money. I'm asking about the relationship because it could be about money with coins. But it can be a sense that the relationship is not balanced or the money dynamic, who who's the breadwinner right now, is not balanced. But I'm just going to say the relationship is not balanced and wanting to fight for it anyway, the strength card. Okay, then overall it's the queen of wands. So I feel like, look, they're destined to be together because he's the king of wands and she comes up at the queen of wands, right? So she comes up as that go-getter, upright, sexual, you know what I'm saying, beautiful person. That's a go-getter who's an entrepreneur, things like that. So she comes up in the right. And she puts her foot down about things. And she's no nonsense. She knows what she wants. So in the back of this, the four wands in the reverse. So something's wrong with, within their household. There's no lie. There's something wrong within their household. Um, over there at the party and Meg relationship bus, okay? Um, the four wands in reverse isn't really a bad thing, but it just talks about you have to reevaluate the foundation of your relationship. You know what I'm saying? It's on shaky ground. Um, but it's not necessarily bad, so it doesn't mean that y'all need to break up or that it needs to be like, you need to stay away from her, he needs to stay away from you. It doesn't mean that. It means that they have to come together and rebuild something. So basically things were not balanced in their relationship. And Party obviously wants to fight for his relationship because he values it, his relationship. And he loves Queen, the Queen of Wands that's upright. He loves Megan the Stallion. And he's the King of Wands. So he's in the wrong. He's the one that's in the reverse. So... Something that he did, he got to make amends for it. Um, let's see. How is Megan in this relationship? How does she show up? How is she feeling about this relationship? One, two, three. How is Megan and in this relationship? The Ace of Pentacles, there's a coin here. So there's a new opportunity for stability. Okay? So that's how she feels. So... Wow. I wonder did they get back together. The Hierophant. Upright. So this is social constructs, a religious organization, a physical embodiment, a religious organization. Um, what is that? Being appropriate. Um, counseling. Um, it can be marriage. So there's a new opportunity for an appropriate relationship. Judgment. This is the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new. And Ace of Cups. They restarted their relationship. They restarted, they renewed their relationship to me. So whatever that was not serving them had to end and basically they had to come to a conclusion and make a decision what they wanted to do. 
So I think they restarted their relationship. See, I I was thinking at first like they didn't. And then it's the Six of Cups. So this is surrounding children. This is love. This is um nostalgia. People from the past coming back. So maybe they did have a split, but it's not necessarily a split. It's just I don't like you right now, and now we're back. Re fresh renewal. So, and now we get to work on the foundation. So, I mean, I feel like it's, I feel like there's no need for the media to be so salacious about it. Um, everyone has their little bumps in their relationship. So, what's coming up for um, Meg and Party? And they're back. Okay, so, of course, with this Ace of Swords, okay. So, with this Ace of Swords, is already telling you about, like, clouded judgments. Um, this was just some past stuff, but just, just putting that out there. Just clouded judgment. Let me put this over. Wait, I'm pulling one. So... In the reverse, the Ace of Swords talks about somebody's trying to force their opinion on you or make you, you know what I'm saying, do things that you don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a forceful energy. It's a clouded judgment energy. It is not no new dialect, right? And it was right beside the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Like, this is codependence, not independence. This is um, someone who is not making money depend on others so I hope that they're not <laughs> they were not acting like that <laughs> and also this is people um that can be a little bit spoiled I hope nobody was acting like that but the eight of swords in reverse again is a good thing because the eight of swords in reverse talks about people seeing the bigger picture outside themselves so, if you can see the bigger picture outside yourself, then you can actually make a relationship work. You know, that's a good thing. You know, you can't communicate right if you can only see, you can't see the forest through the trees. You see what I'm saying? So, this is seeing the bigger picture. And what would ever, and what was ever holding you back is no longer holding you back. And you have this star card right here. So, for real, for real, with them, there's a wish fulfillment here. Okay, there's a definite wish fulfillment. Um, I think that they're soulmates to me. You know, um, the nine of wands talks about something worth fighting for. Things getting better, before, um, things getting worse before they get better, and it's really because the devil card right here because it's addictions, codependencies that people are not addressing. So the drinking part may be something, it may be something there about that. But then you have the lovers card. The lovers card talks about a union, and it's right beside the devil card. So I feel like there's a codependent nature there, but also there's uh, um, an addiction there. Um, the Seven of Wands in the reverse talks about having to speak up for yourself. Um, so I feel like there's a sense of somebody feeling like they have to speak up. Um, there's a sense of somebody feeling like, what else I can tell you? I mean, by the end of it, I feel like somebody can write a self-help book, to be honest with you. <laughs> but overall, the energy was the three of cups in the reverse. The three of cups in the reverse is overindulgent behavior. Anything that's going on is because you overindulged. So I feel like there's too much partying. And I think at some point, they're going to get serious. Okay, so that's what that is. So um, is there some truth to the drinking part? Yes. But do they love each other? Yes. And are they necessarily broken up? No. Okay, <laughs> so um, with the I don't know who's drinking, I don't know who can be codependent, but somebody had to see what they were doing. Um, the page of Pentacles in the reverse is 
expectations, a new expectation, a new coin. You have a new coin, there's a there's a um there's growth there. So to me I feel like I think they had an issue. And I think they're growing. Okay. So I think they're still gonna be together. They will still be together. So for a minute at least. It's making a choice. The two of cups, I mean, the, the lovers is a choice. They go down this road together. So, I feel like they'll be fine. But, there was definitely growing pains. I already said that. There was definitely growing pains. That's what that was. Things were revealed. Okay? So, I feel like, no matter what the media says, there's a sense of... I think they had... I want to ask this. Did they actually have a physical fight? Because to me, that's what the thing is. Did they have a physical fight? Or maybe, Par or maybe Party doesn't like her drinking. Or maybe she does get a little bit too out of hand. So let's see. Did they have a physical fight? I think things escalated. One, two, three. The half day in the reverse. Something inappropriate happened. There was inappropriateness being taking place. The Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> and the hanged woman. See, it's so funny because the hanged man is the hanged man, but right here is the hanged woman. I think somebody feels guilt. That somebody feels guilty. The Empress is in the back. This is growth. This is fertility. <sighs> there were definitely words being said. And I think Party said some words to her that he feels guilty about. Because swords are words. So the inappropriate words that were being said hurt her feelings. And he necessarily didn't want to do that. So I think it was hell. But I think it's because they were doing a little bit too much of extracurricular activities. Like drinking. Um, they got into a fight. A, a, a verbal fight. I don't see any like physical altercation. There's no bonds. So, but someone, this hanged woman, someone feels guilt. And someone feels like they're being punished. And if this man is right here, right beside it, I think it's partisan. Fontaine feels like he was being punished or, you know, whatever for being inappropriate with his words. Because with the King of Pentacles on the reverse, you do know you got to be careful what you say to them because they're going to say something really mean to you. And that makes sense. With the higher fan in reverse. So, that's what I got. I mean, they're going to be together. They're fine. They had a verbal altercation. Um, but, guess what? It's a lesson for them. It's a good lesson for them. Okay? Stop playing, stop playing with your relationships. Anyway, keep addictions out of it. That's what it sounds like to me. Or codependency or attachments out of it. Um, but that's what I got for them. I wish that they do well. Ooh, let's see. I want to see if that. I want to see if Megan gonna get pregnant. Is Megan gonna get pregnant by party? Cause that would be so cute. That's the last one. I'm just pulling three cards. One, two, three. Okay, ten of cups in the reverse. Okay, they had problems within the home. The seven of wands upright. That's upright now that's fighting. And seven of swords. This is hidden communication sneakiness. Ooh. Somebody's being sneaky. 
The Queen of Swords coming. I don't have pregnancy right now. <sighs> but there's disruption in the home. There's some things that they're going to be secretive about. Very secretive. They're going to have problems. Now it makes me want to see extra stuff. They might have problems, y'all. I really don't want that for them. Oh, there's that page of cups. There is a pregnancy coming up. Let me pull out the rest of these cards. The seven cards. I, I had to. I had to. I'm sorry. That page of cups did come up. Right now, people are being immature. They got to... They, Look, they gotta learn how to talk to each other better, okay? Um, but the problem is with this Knight of Pentacles right here, the obstacle. That means that solid stable offer of pregnancy is supposed to come in, but it's not coming in quite yet. They gotta get grounded with this Knight of Pentacles. Somebody with this Knight of Cups in the reverse. This means somebody's betraying somebody's emotions. Seven of Swords and Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody's betraying somebody's emotions right now. To me. So. It's crazy because if nobody was doing that, it should be pregnant already. But Whatever. But we're going to see. I'm going to ask again in probably like three months. I'll probably come. Hopefully. Yeah, three months I'll ask again. But um, this page of Cups talks about a pregnancy. So, we are going to figure out. <sighs> I'm so mad because I want them to be pregnant. But look, all right, y'all. I've been on here for like, what, 22 minutes? It's time for me to go. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll come back next time. And we'll do us. I sound, so, I sound so calm and cool and collected because I've just certainly been having a mental break. I've been getting enough sleep. I'm just relaxing. I'm detoxing. So, and I kind of started feeling like... My spirit guys started like really showing up. So I was like, well, let me get something good in before I get back to work. <laughs> like, because I had this crazy dream about my um, about my grandfather that passed away. And and I was trying to figure out because he lived in, in my dream. He was living in my new home that I have now. And I was like, because you know how you figure out it's not a dream. <laughs> I mean, it's a dream um, because you start like asking yourself in your sleep random things like hold on wait my grandfather this is me and him paying the bills and my grandfather lives with us oh uh oh and then i woke up and i was like i had to realize that my grandfather passed away i thought he was still alive because that's how the dream felt but mm, that's another story time you guys i'll talk to you guys later Love you guys.